Hey everyone, welcome back to Ragtag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about some uh, new gold and silver bars from the Royal uh, from the Royal Mint. Almost said Royal Canadian Mint there, probably because I'm looking at this 10 ounce bar that kind of looks out of place. And uh, I have it there just as a little representation of uh, uh, what I would like to get because uh, you can see a nice little spread here of Britannias with the one ounce ones with those nice security features on them. These are one of my favorite coins to stack. Uh, but they also have a 10 ounce Britannia bar that's not unlike this and I don't have it in my stack yet so uh, I just want to have a 10 ounce piece here just to show but uh, you know just like with the uh, the Royal Canadian Mint the Royal Mint does make a, a 10 ounce Britannia bar and that is something that I would like to get in my collection to go along with the uh, the bunch of Britannias the uh, the silver Britannias I have and a few of the gold Britannias that I have I have a, a quarter ounce one and a tenth ounce and I also have this uh, this new Tudor's Beast uh, quarter ounce gold coin as well. I have the two ounce silver version of this too, but I was just too lazy to pick it out of the uh, the monster box. Basically not counting the Royal Canadian uh, Mint bar. I don't have too too much from the uh, the Royal Mint. This is basically all that I have here. I have a, a Queen's Beast coin. I have the Queen's Beast completer coin, and like I said, the first uh, that Lion uh, Tudor's Beast coin as well, and that's it for my Royal Mint and uh, they have these new ones coming out I just noticed them on pre-sale on a certain site so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump onto the computer and uh, go over the uh, the gold and the new gold and silver bars released from the Royal Mint okay so this is the site here it's the coinshop.ca and you can see that there are four items here one gold and three silver I'm gonna go into the gold first and this is called the this is called the Three Graces, the Great Engravers Collection 2022, one ounce pure gold bar from the Royal Mint, limited mintage of 4,000 and 3,000 available outside of the UK, and it's going for 2561 Canadian. I'll leave a conversion up here into American so you can see what that is. And this one is on pre-order. All four of them are pre-order. And this one's pretty late. This says end of July. So yeah, that's, that's a long time. End of July, this being the uh, beginning of June, you are going to be waiting quite a, a long time for your silver and gold. And if you're anything like me, that could be quite stressful. You know, anytime I order and it takes like two days to get to me, I'm, you know, just constantly checking the tracking, making sure it's not lost. So if you know you have to wait for that period of time, then, you know, <laughs> you might be pulling your hair out. So I went and looked at some of the uh, description and the features and it says uh, the latest bullion release in this highly anticipated collection. So I wasn't sure how long this collection had been out so I looked around a little bit and I think that uh, coin, uh, the bar that I saw last year, I believe it was called Una and Lion or Lion, Lion and Una that was a part of this collection as well. I'm not sure if that was the first release but I do know that that was part of this great engravers collection as well. So this is the uh, the lone gold one. Like I said, this is the one ounce with the mintage of 4,000 with 3,000 being available outside of the UK. So I'm gonna show you the uh, the silver bar next. So I went with the middle one, the, the 10 ounce. This one also comes in 100 ounce and the one ounce uh, variety. And this is the limited mintage of 6,100 with 5,000 being available outside of the US and 367.46 Canadian. And the same uh, time period for the pre-order uh, estimated arrival is at the end of July. I didn't do it on the gold one. I, I forgot to uh, to show you the uh, the other side of it. But this is the other side of the bar. You can see it has the Royal Canadian Mint and their other uh, logo there. And this one is the 10 ounce bar. And I like that design in the field. I forget exactly what it's called. Let me know in the comments if you know what that design is called. Because I do like the way it looks. And uh, it's on the other side as well. It's not the entire field, but you can see up at the top and the bottom. It has that same really cool pattern there. And just going back so you can see some of the mintages, the 100 ounce has a mintage of 1200 with a very weird uh, number of 1002 available outside of the UK. And the one ounce is 36,000 with 30,000 being available outside of the UK. And you can see how much premium is on the one ounce there. If you were to buy 10 of those ones, it would be $400. And if you buy one of the 10 ounce ones, it'll be 367, all in Canadian dollars. But you can see that, yes, it is, uh, the, the premiums are up there on the, uh, the, the one ounce. So like I said, this is on the coin shop. I do come here 
uh, a little bit. They do have a lot of stuff that you can stack. They have your regular Maple Leafs and some other rounds and coins where it's uh, in the ballpark of uh, you know premiums where yeah you'd consider stacking them. They're not too, they're not too much of a collector piece. But this site uh, specifically, compared to some of the other sites that I go to, they're kind of more for novelty stuff and collector items. And I'll show you one example. These brand new FIFA World Cup trophy replicas. You can see this five, you can see right there, five ounce pure gold is basically $22,000 Canadian. You know, it's, so it's, uh, they're not, they aren't shy with it. And, uh, you know, these aren't coins, these aren't bars. They're basically little mini figurines here. I think I really hate this one because I just, I do not like the look of the World Cup uh, trophy. Don't mind watching the tournament, hate the look of the trophy. I think it's hideous. And they're really not shy with the uh, the price here with the premium. As you can see, the one ounce pure gold is $5,000. And they have a five ounce pure silver replica of it going for $1,500. So yeah, these are definitely more of the novelty collector coins. And you do see a lot of that on this site compared to some of the other ones. But like I just mentioned, they do have some uh, some stackable items as well. So there you go. There you have it. That is the uh, those are the new silver and gold bars in the new uh, great engravers series that I did not know um, was out. I didn't know. Uh, I had seen those Una and Lion coins in silver and gold before. So and the bars as well. Uh, but I did not know that they were part of a series. I just saw the Una and Lion. I did not notice the great engravers uh, tag on there as well. And this is the next uh, in that series there. And I thought it was a pretty cool design with the uh, the three graces there. And I would like to hear from you if you did pick up the uh, Una and Lion. Uh, and I would also like to just clarify if that is the first of the series or if there was another one before the Una and Lion. So it is a, a cool looking design, the, uh, the new one there, the three graces. But the only thing, the only knock that the Royal Mint has because they have beautiful designs, don't get me wrong, the coins and their bars look amazing. It's just the milk spotting issues. They really, really have to um, get that under control. Whether it's you know coming up with their own mint shield or maybe hopefully the Royal Canadian Mint will license out their mint shield technology to other mints so that they can uh, you know have some nice coins without milk spotting on there. You know, Royal Canadian Mint can make some money off of the licensing, whatever it is, or some of these mints just need to come up with their own thing to help with some of the milk spotting because that's the, the lone downside with the Royal Mint. They make beautiful products, beautiful gold and silver, uh, but the silver, it does still have that milk spotting problem. And it really has stopped me from picking up more Britannias because they're a great price, beautiful coin, great security. It's just, I hate the, the milk spotting. And if I can get another coin for basically the same price and it's not going to milk spot, then I'm going to go for that one. But uh, yeah, the reputation of the Royal Mint is uh, the only bad thing that I have to say about it is that uh, the milk spotting. Other than that, they make beautiful products. But I would like to hear what you guys think. Again, if you are continuing this series. Also, I would like to know if this is more than two releases uh, at the moment. Because uh, as I said, I wasn't quite sure how long it was going on. I thought maybe this was the first release. But uh, there is at least two. But I would like to know if there's more. And even if you're just hearing about it now, I would like to hear if you're interested in buying this stuff and maybe retroactively going back and uh, completing the series. But anyways, that was just a short little video I wanted to make here showcasing some new uh, silver and gold from the Royal Mint. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope to come back for the next one. Thank you.